Hey everybody, this is your girl, Miss Athena. I'm coming to you from The Planted Fitness. We out here, you have just tuned in to the Why Are You Still Single podcast. I just met Bruno as we were passing each other and this man is in a relationship. I couldn't help but ask him, how did he get there? Hi Bruno, thank you so much for joining How's it going? Thank you. Um, the Why Are You Still Single podcast. Now, you and your girl have been together how long? Uh, well, we've known each other for a while, but uh, I think officially about a little over a year now. Okay. Yeah. How, so, did, you, how did you guys meet? Uh, I actually knew her from like my past when I was younger. Mm -hmm. uh, I help, I usually, I uh, actually teach at my local church okay. uh, on Monday nights and I knew her from back in the day and uh, we just got it back in contact through social media because that's the easiest way to contact people. And one day we just went out for coffee and then just kept talking. Okay. And that's what it was, and then that's just took it really, really slow though. Okay. Really, really slow. Really, really slow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, how long you guys been together for a whole year now, right? Yeah. yeah. For sure, and, a whole year. So, when did you all start getting serious? Like, I know you said you're from church and everything like mm -hmm. that. I'm a believer in Christ. Um, when did you guys really start getting serious? Well, the the thing was, she wanted to get serious a lot earlier than I did. The thing was, it's like to me, it's like, like. We, I really wanted to get to know each other and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't in a rush to get into a relationship or anything. I had, I had just came out of a relationship. I had I was about about a year and a half single. Um, uh, I was engaged actually. I was engaged for three years. I had been with her for nine years, and uh, I wasn't looking for anything serious. I just kind of was like, you know what? And that's how we started off. That was like, you know, I, we can be friends. We can hang out and stuff like that. And if it leads to something, it'll lead to something. So we're very open and. Um, very uh very straightforward of what her intentions were and what my intentions were and i told her you know if nothing comes from this i'm sorry he's like no i'm gonna be honest with you from the get-go and that's how we started but we didn't we didn't do anything we didn't engage in anything we didn't we kept it strictly friends we, we didn't pass that threshold until eventually that when we decided to get more serious and stuff like that and act like a couple but to me that's the thing it's it's um i think everybody's so quick to rush into the intimate part and to me intimate doesn't have to be physical it's not about the physical. Uh, if if your if your intimacy only comes from physical, it's a problem. Okay. I was like, you have to learn how to be intimate, uh, emotionally, um, mentally, and and every other aspect before physical. Physical is a plus. It's not. It's not the end all be all. And so you heard it right there. Bruno is speaking the truth. Um, intimacy is work, and the easiest part is to jump into the bed. He is a believer, so. If you're out here and um, you want to be in a relationship, um, you just got to say straightforward. What are you looking yeah. for? That's what he's saying. And what made you choose her, even after you knew her from history? Mm -hmm. What made you say uh, she's the one? Uh, she seemed to be more concerned how I was doing and like how I was mentally. She asked questions that um, she just seemed to be more genuine in a sense, like actually be concerned and where I was at and she respected my boundaries and stuff like that. Like most people say, um, is like, you don't want somebody not even necessarily respect my boundaries. She was more, uh, she was willing to defend my boundaries. Uh, most people get lost in the whole aspect of respect, respect, they respect me. One thing is to respect your boundaries, but what happens when you have a weak moment? Uh, somebody who respects your boundaries is going to, is like, Oh, if you have a weak moment, are they going to be able to defend your boundaries? Are they going to be able to say no for you when you can't say no? You wow. get me? Yeah. Because respect can only go so far. You you want you don't want somebody to just respect what you're doing because at your moment of weakness, are they going to take advantage of that? Are they just going to be like okay and let you fall? You want somebody who's willing to defend your boundaries until you're it, it comes genuinely from you that you want to pass that threshold or cross that line um, to the next uh, step or next chapter in your life or whatever you want to do. You guys, you ladies, you hear that? This man, he's in a healthy relationship. He loves God, and he's saying Bruno was saying he chose her because she respected his boundaries and she took up for his boundaries even when sometimes he did not take up for his boundaries bruno we thank you for being here oh, on the why How are you still single podcast remember to subscribe and like and we're out